All right, in this lesson, we're going to look at uh, eigenvalues and eigenvectors. And so I'm going to walk you through um, example 2.13.7, which asks us to find the eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a 2 by 2 matrix. And so anytime we're doing a problem like this, where we have to find eigenvalues, the first thing that we have to start out with is the characteristic equation. And so that characteristic equation says that the determinant of a minus lambda i of n dimensions has to equal zero. We, we have to have the determinant equal to zero, otherwise we'd have some trivial solution where uh, we have a zero vector. And so if this is the characteristic equation for um, a matrix of any dimension, the characteristic equation for a two by two matrix looks like this. We're gonna have A11 minus lambda times A22 minus lambda uh, minus a12 times a21, and we set that equal to zero. And so that's on your formula reference card if you know where to look. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to substitute our values in. Keep in mind that this a matrix up here, um, this first entry is a11, a12, a12, a21, and a22. So substituting our values in, um, that's going to give us. 1 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus uh, 5 times 6. And so that equal to 0. And so we can solve this equation um, just doing a little bit of algebra here. And so we get, um, we're going to get 2 minus 2 lambda minus lambda plus lambda squared minus 30 equals 0. So it's going to break down to lambda squared minus 3 lambda uh, minus 28 equals 0. Now we can factor this and we can say that that's uh, lambda minus 7 times lambda plus 4 equals 0. Um, and so that tells us our two solutions here are um, lambda 1, we'll say, is, when it is equal to 7. And then lambda 2, our second solution, uh, is equal to negative 4. So these are our eigenvalues. So now what we have to do is we have to find our eigenvectors. And so to do that, we're going to use uh, one eigenvalue at a time. And so we'll use uh, lambda 1, which is 7, uh, to, to solve for our first eigenvector. And so what we know is that um, if we multiply a times an eigenvector, we get back the eigenvalue times the eigenvector, right? Just a scalar multiple of this vector. Um, and so we're going to use this principle right here to solve for the eigenvector. And so we know our A matrix, that hasn't changed, right? So we have 1, 5, 6, and 2 times this vector. Um, and we don't know these quantities, but there's the first component, and I'm going to label in this V1, comma 1 because I'm talking about the uh, first row, and then the comma 1 represents the first eigenvalue, which was 7. Um, and then we also have uh, v2 comma 1, right? And so if I multiply a times an eigenvector, it's going to give me something back that's been stretched by a, uh, stretched by the scalar value 7, right? It's going to give me the same v1 comma 1 and v2 comma 1 just stretched by, by 7. So we can break this down into a system of equations and, uh, and solve, right? So what I'm going to do is just matrix multiplication. So I'm going to take the first row times my column um, here. So that's going to give me uh, v1 comma 1 plus 5 v2 comma 1 equals 7 v1 comma 1. All right? And then my second equation is going to say 6 v1 comma 1 plus 2 v2 comma 1 is equal to 7 v2 comma 1. Now when I simplify these equations, 
Um, so I can subtract V1 in this first equation. I can subtract V11 from both sides. That's going to give me um, 5V2, comma 1 is equal to 6V1, comma 1. And I can do the same thing um, to my second equation. Right, so I can subtract v2 comma 1 to the other side and it's going to say 6 v1 comma 1 is equal to 5 v2 comma 1 and so these are identical equations right here which they should be they're redundant and we want to have there's there should be an infinite number of solutions so I only need one of these equations to solve for my eigenvector and so um, I'll just use this bottom one uh, it, it really doesn't matter which one I take so this is going to tell me that um, if I divide both sides by 6 here, it's going to say that v1 comma 1 is equal to 5 over 6 v2 comma 1, right? And so now I just have to pick a value for, uh, I can pick any value over here for v2, and it will give me a value uh, of v1. And so when I do these problems, I like to set this term right here equal to the denominator, because then it's going to, I'm going to deal with um, integer values, right? And so... I can say v1 comma 1 is equal to 5, 6 times 6. If we let v2, so these cross out, that says v1 comma 1 is equal to 5. v2 comma 1 was equal to 6. And so that is uh, my eigenvector v is equal to 5 and 6. Right? Now, any scalar multiple of the this vector right here is an eigenvector. So if you uh, solve it a little differently and you get num different numbers, that's okay too. Any scalar multiple of this will work. But for clarity's sake here, I should probably denote this as v1 uh, equals five, six, 5 and 6. All right, so the next thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out what uh, the eigenvector is for our second eigenvalue. So I'll scroll down here a little bit, and we can figure that out, right? So now what we're going to do, we've got lambda 2, which was negative 4. We're going to follow the same process, right? So we're going to say that a times an eigenvector is just equal to lambda times this eigenvector, a scalar multiple of the vector. So we can rewrite this again um, as 1, 5, 6, and 2. This time I'll denote it v1 comma 2 and v2 comma 2 since we're dealing with the second eigenvalue is equal to negative 4 times v1 comma 2 and v2 comma 2. Again, we take this and we do our matrix multiplication here on the left hand side um, to break it back into a system of equations. And the equations we get are v1 comma 2 uh, plus 5 v2 comma 2 is equal to negative 4 v1 comma 2 and then 6 v1 comma 2 plus 2 v2 comma 2 is equal to negative 4 v2 2. Again, I showed you before these are redundant equations, so I'm just going to pick the bottom equation. Uh, I'll take this one and go ahead and solve for it. And in doing so, I'm going to subtract. Um, so I'll subtract 2v2, comma 2 from both sides. That's going to simplify down to 6. Uh, v1, comma 2 is equal to negative 6, v2, comma 2. And so uh, that just says v1 comma 2 is equal to negative v2 comma 2. And so again, I can select a value for v2 comma 2. And so if we say v2 comma 2 is equal to 1, then that means v1 comma 2 is equal to negative 1, right? And so this vector v2 is just negative 1, 1. Again, so if, if I took a scalar multiple of this, um, which could be negative 1, then I could have an eigenvector. It could just the same equal 1 and negative 1. That is also an eigenvector for this problem. 